Okay, so down here we have good, means air quality is satisfactory, and air pollution poses little or no risk, moderate, acceptable, unhealthy for sensitive groups, asthmatic, some people like myself, unhealthy, everyone may experience health effects, very unhealthy and hazardous. Health alert, everyone may experience more serious side effects. So straight away you can see green, there's a bit of green up in Norway and stuff like that, and down in Australia, here in Adelaide, uh, stuff like that. Let's go to Adelaide. Yeah, we'll go to Chiang Mai in a second. Let's just have a little look-see here. Uh, we are going to go in Thailand up here. So up in Chiang Mai, we've got 747. So that's that's insane. That's hazardous. That is health alert. Everyone may experience serious health effects. So that's really sad. Chiang Mai, my second home, a place that I love, and I've sent a lot of people there. There's people who live here. There's people who have moved to Chiang Mai, just in my recommendations. They've moved from Germany or Australia or New Zealand or Norway or anywhere, Russia. They've moved to Chiang Mai. Some of my videos, they've moved to Chiang Mai uh, as a second home or permanent home even. So we see that the air quality there is definitely hazardous right now. It is very unfortunate. A lot of it's burning forests to make way for a dairy and beef cows. A lot of it's uh, burning off old rice crops. That a lot of it goes to feed livestock, etc. Just burning stuff. We scroll down here to Malaysia, etc. Uh, we're going to let's go down to Australia. Adelaide is 12. This is where I am right now in Adelaide, Australia. So we're at 12 in Adelaide. Go to Sydney, 57. So moderate air quality. Moderate air quality. Brisbane, moderate air quality. So Australia, generally pretty good, depending where you go. Kalgoorlie, 6. So Adelaide's the best city in Australia. We've got... Uh, Bunbury 25, Geraldton 41. I'm not sure why Geraldton is so polluted. It's quite interesting. But Adelaide's around, you know, 10, 7 to 10 to 12. So Adelaide's the best air quality uh, in Australia. Probably second to Hobart, Australia. Pretty good down there as well. Uh, but yeah, we see a lot of uh, places in Kairobi. Is, uh, is a Nairobi girls' school, Kenya. Is 28, so not too bad down there either. So... South Africa has a good quality air. Let's see if we can zoom in on this thing, etc. Not too bad. You think Africa be more polluted? I'd say I dare say probably more pollution in maybe Nigeria. Actually, put, not even measuring it there. Let's have a little scan around here. Uh, so yeah, we see in Asia, you know, and it's just getting worse. More yellow is coming on. So obviously the pollution does spread around the environment and spread around the world. So we're gonna let's zoom in right in on Thailand here. So we can see northern Thailand. You know, very unfortunate. The burning of the forests for dairy, livestock, and meat, and burning off old crops as well. It's just a really, you know, unsustainable, unsustainable stuff going on there. So yeah, all this stuff, very dangerous, hazardous, very, very hazardous. Quite sad, very sad, because Thailand is an amazing place. I mean, you know, it's it's really, uh, it's particles per million. It's very, 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 very sad. It's uh, Thailand's a beautiful place. 97. Uh, let's go down to Bangkok. So the, the air quality in sort of Bangkok is so, so, but that, you know, it's, it's insane. You wouldn't think it, would you? You wouldn't think it. Surat Thani, even. I mean, Surat Thani, I don't understand why the air pollution is so bad down there because it's right next to the beach. Malaysia, stuff like that. So we're getting some pretty crazy things going on here. Indonesia. Pretty good, pretty good, some places. Jakarta, Jakarta air quality 63. Crazy, isn't it? That you think Jakarta would be like mad pollution, but it's no, not too bad. It's Philippines, have we got anything in the Philippines here? No, nothing registered over there. So yeah, healthiest places to live in Australia, in the world. Uh, you can see here this little map here. Some pretty good air quality out here. Hopeland, some good air quality out there. Fresh, clean air, country air, country air, but yeah, Sunshine Coast, not too bad, Sunshine Coast, not too bad, uh, let's, let's scroll down here, that's one thing you do notice when you come back to Australia, air quality is pretty good, especially Adelaide, is that why Adelaide's such a good place for cycling, why we produce so many world-class cyclists, more world-class cyclists coming to Adelaide than anywhere in the world, is it the air, is it the air quality here, maybe, I think it's got a factor, so look at that, Look at that. Look at Adelaide. 
good old glorious Adelaide. Look at those numbers. 4, 6, 6. Yeah. This is where I am in East Adelaide. Kensington, this is where I, where, where I live. So 6. Look at those. Look at the green. Wow. That's uh, pretty amazing, isn't it? That's, yeah. So I'm outside. I've got an outdoor desk. So I've got good, fresh, clean air. So healthy. Except for cats, I've got a little cat down again on there. So look, look at that. That is, you know, Adelaide, like I said, Adelaide's the highest quality place in the world to live. The air quality is the best of any city I know of. And, you know, even Perth, you know, not so good. Not so good. You know, not so good. The Fremantle doctor needs to pick it up a bit. So, just pretty amazing, isn't it? Pretty amazing. I don't know, I understand why Jolton has so much going on over there. Not so good. Look at that, Adelaide, just the numbers so low, which makes, even Tasmania, you, know, you think of Tasmania, the, the nature place, but look, those numbers are pretty good, actually they are pretty good, but not, not too much off of Adelaide, is it? Not too much, up there, Cradle Mountain and stuff, Hobart, Hobart's pretty good, okay, so we're talking, the Hobart, it's fucking cold down there, it's fucking cold, so Adelaide, in terms of the, the best city in the world to live right now, Adelaide's for sure, number one, number one. Uh, so, will I ever go back to Chiang Mai? Definitely. But this time of year, man, it's, it is it is unhealthy. It is, I, I mean, which is really, really sad. Because I love Thailand. But, man, look at that. And this is just the thing. The human population is exploding. It's never going to get better. People want to keep breeding. Want to keep burning forests. Want to keep eating our meat. Burning old crops off instead of digging into the soil. Driving more cars and stuff like that. It's just, it's not going to change. So, I'm glad I had a vasectomy. The solution to pollution is less human beings. It isn't going to change. And you can disagree with me, but you're still going to be wrong. And you can keep breeding kids. And in 20 years' time, those kids' air pollution they're going to be breathing in is going to be hazardous as fuck. All right? So you can disagree with me, you can hate me, or whatever. But the truth is, you're having kids now. You want to have more kids, I think, in 20 years' time. What air quality... This is a question you're going to ask yourself as a parent. What sort of air quality will my children have in 20 years' time? Is a good idea to cr create more babies now when we already have enough babies out there? You know, I dare say we have enough babies out there. Let's adopt. Let's be a foster carer. If you've got enough kids, you've got enough kids. You know, just help the people already out there. Because that air pollution, let's go to the US. Let's go to the US. And look at that. That's, that China stuff's going crazy. Crazy. Let's go over to Europe. You know, some not too bad at places over there but again we see that the numbers are creeping up the yellow's starting to overtake the green isn't it the yellow's starting to overtake the green you know as you go down to Spain and stuff like that even there's more yellow coming up those, those numbers are still pretty high compared to Adelaide yeah they're good but they're still high let's go to the USA let's go to the USA we've got a lot of green but those numbers are pretty high aren't they still they're still pretty high. They're still pretty high. There's, there's nothing... Adelaide is there. Even you go up into, Let's go to Alaska. Let's fly up to Alaska here. Let's go to... You know, look at that. British Columbia. Still numbers are pretty high, aren't they? Look at Anchorage. We're talking Anchorage, man. 48. What's Adelaide right now? 6, Kensington? You know, look at that. Up in the... Up in the boondocks. Norman Wells. I was there a few weeks ago. Pretty cold. Froze my dick off. Look at that, 27. So, you know, it's, uh, yeah, this is interesting stuff. Yeah, even on the US, pretty good air, but look at that. Let's go to Los Angeles, all right? People live in Los Angeles. It varies a lot. But there's, you know, there's those numbers. People think LA, LA is polluted, but the air quality is good. So, for people who've never traveled, you can imagine. These countries with, uh, you know, other places. Crazy, isn't it? Crazy. Louisiana, unhealthy. Boom. So, changing around there. Anyway, so that's just food for thought. What sort of air quality is going to be your kid's future? Think before you fuck. Think before you breed. The air quality around the world is getting worse every day. We have to all put our word in, our bid in, and make a difference.